Welcome to the second episode of Social Media Sharks. I'm your host, Micro Steph. Now, we're reviewing the first episode of Shark Tank, and we're on our second entrepreneur, which is actually Bev Buckle. If you didn't see this one, I'm sure you did, um, but it's actually a buckle that holds your beverage, ideally a beer. So they're also, you know, I saw that they're branding themselves with the beer buckle. Now, their tagline is very fun. It's ba-bam, because basically the belt opens and then you pop your beer in and uh, the entrepreneur was really awesome with it. He had a lot of energy. So I was expecting to see a very active social media presence. Now, I'm going to review his social media pages and give feedback that you can also apply to your own business. And I see a common mistake that many, pe many people and many businesses don't do. And that's something that, unfortunately, Bev Buckle has done. But if they watch this video, maybe they can correct it before Facebook does. Um, so I visited their website because I actually searched for them on Twitter. And I found an empty page and I couldn't find something that was active and it didn't look like it was theirs. Maybe they set it up a long time ago and then didn't go back, didn't update it with a logo or anything. Um, at the very least, they could add, you know, if they do own that page, they could add their website name so that they send some traffic. Um, then I did go to their Facebook and I, I actually searched first on Facebook and I searched Bev Buckle and nothing came up. So then I found their website name and, you know, think about this because potential clients might look for you and they might look for you often through social media. If they can't find you, that's not good for your business. In my case, I digged a little deeper. So I, I went to their website and then they do have a really cute icon that looks like a, a beer bottle cap and it's a Facebook icon. So I'm looking at their site right now. So I clicked on that and I went to the Facebook page. I'm on there now. This is a big mistake that businesses make. Um... And it's not their fault. Facebook has changed a lot and evolved over the years. And at first, there were only profile pages for people because Facebook is a very, you know, personal network where you interact with friends and family. But then they opened up the business side of it, and that's where the business pages came about. So the pages are the ones that you go and you like. So you wouldn't actually add someone as a friend, but you would go and interact with the business and like their page and like what they have to say. Now, this page that I'm seeing is facebook.com slash the beer buckle. So if you go to that on your own computer, you'll be able to see what I'm seeing. And what I see is that I would have to add him as a friend. Now, I don't really want the beer buckle, no offense, but I don't really want them to see personal pictures of myself and things like that. I want to engage with them on a level that's a little less personal. That's why it's important to have a business page. That's one very small reason. The bigger reason is their name is Beer Buckle. Now, Facebook shuts down pages that are not really related to people. So once, you know, at some point they might realize, you know what, Beer Buckle is not a person because they do pick up on certain, certain keywords. Um, when that happens, they can just shut his page down altogether. So he has over 2,000 friends um, and those friends could just disappear. So that ideally you wouldn't want that to happen um, so you want to set up a fan page and then once the fan page is set up here are some other bonuses to having a fan page um, you can target exactly who you would want as your audience so um, you know for him if he's shipping to the US or the US and Canada he can target whoever he wants he can target people that are over 21 perhaps because of the drinking um, age limit he knows specifically who he wants to target and that's what you can get on Facebook because on Facebook, if you think about it, people might go and like pages that are related to beer or I love beer or I love belts. And everything that's related to his demographic and his target audience, that's already on Facebook. You can only set up targeted ads um, to this degree on a business page. You cannot do that on a personal page. The other bonus is you can promote what you say um, so you can spend as little as $5 getting more people to see what you're posting about on Facebook. And you can also see some very interesting insights. And think about it. These are free insights that Facebook is providing to you. You can, I can go into my page right now and I can see, you know, I'm located in Miami. So I can go in and look at my insights and I can see, wow, I have a big majority of Facebook fans that live in Miami. 
and then I have another big chunk that are in New York and then I have another base that's in Canada because I do some business there and you can start seeing also the age groups and if they're male or female and, and that kind of good stuff that a business you know should want to know about their fans and for the first time ever they can really reach their fans all at once in a really simple way and um, that's the beauty of social media this is a very fun product I would love to see them doing more um, look like their tagline says danger you are now hands free I mean it's really social media is very fun and young and exciting and um, I feel that they can be doing something very big and they can really engage with their fans and the fans that they really want um, and they are doing some things but it looks a little more like they were more active a couple years ago so I think maybe that's because I'm not friends with them some stuff is private at times um, but it yeah it looks like they do have some more current information but you want to keep things active and right now is the time to jump on it because they're on Shark Tank so they should really be doing daily updates Monday through Friday sharing about how they were on Shark Tank and having a real business fan page because they can take uh, their brand to another level and have more people learn about them so those are my tips for um, the beer buckle which is also the Bev buckle they might have changed their name and I think they can do really well on social media and my my main tip for them is to focus on a business page thanks